Hello, everyone. Welcome to Technologies Discussion Channel. Today, I'd like to start a new topic, which is on satellite communication. For this video, there will be two objectives. The first objective, I will define what is satellite communication. The second objective, why we need to have satellite communication. So this will be the two objectives for this video. This will be the part one series discussion on satellite communication. I have put the playlist under the description. So from time to time, I will update the discussion on satellite communication. So if you're keen to know more about satellite communication, please take a look on the playlist under the description. Over there, you will be able to find a series discussion on satellite communication soon. This is my email. If you have any question regards on today's discussion, please drop me an email. Before I continue, I'd like to urge you guys to support this channel by pressing the like and also the subscribe button. Please also turn on your notification bell in order to receive more information from this channel. Guys, feel free to give me feedback or even comment how can this channel can be further improved. Once again, sincere thanks for your strong support. Let's start okay, by quickly define what is satellite communication. Satellite communication make use of artificial satellite to provide communication links between various points on Earth. From this diagram here, you can see that this is actually one of the artificial satellites. Basically, they are up in the atmosphere. Okay, this satellite communication actually provides communication link between various points on Earth. Basically, you can imagine that someone in the Earth here basically been a transmission all the way to the artificial satellite. This artificial satellite receives a signal and can relay this message to another part of the world. Okay, so this is a very quick definition about satellite communication. Satellite communication play a vital role in the global telecommunication system. As I have illustrated, you can imagine that basically the satellite communication can relay all the information from all parts of the world. There are approximately 2,000 artificial satellites orbiting Earth relay carry both the analog and digital signal. Okay, in this analog and digital signal, there will be voice, there will be video, and also data. Basically, they carry all this information to and from one or many locations worldwide. Okay, so you have the idea. Basically, the satellite communication can carry mainly either the analog or digital signal. So with analog and digital signal, they can carry, for example, our voice. Our voice can be an analog signal. Video, typically nowadays, will be a digital signal. Our data also belongs to a digital signal. Basically, they can transmit to any part of the world. Basically, this is a very quick definition of satellite communication. Over land wireless communication link are always limited by line of sight voltage of the signal due to mountain or building. Okay, so you take a look on this diagram here. For example, okay, this is a transmit. This is a receiver. Basically, over the line, it's always ideal to have this line of sight. When we actually have this line of sight, we can actually guarantee most of the time the signal will be able to transmit from the transmitter to receiver. However, over the land, you know that this is almost not possible because in between transmitter and receiver, there probably will be mountain, there probably will be building, they basically block the line of sight. And because of this, okay, over the land communication can be a bit challenged. We can resolve this by setting out intermediate relay station, but difficult and not always possible. It can also be very expensive to do so. Like what I mentioned earlier on, let's say there's a building here, okay, I can do relay. Basically, the relay can amplify the signal or redirect the signal to another so-called uh, line of sight. Okay, but this can be very costly. Okay, if you have this plan to set up relay all the way from one point to another point, let's say they are kilometer away, can this can be very expensive solution. Okay, country with many islands. Okay, they are basically, for example, they there are lots of hill and they are actually very difficult to connect using wireline. So basically, for example, okay, we can't lay all the fiber okay, with all the countries. 
let's say Indonesia, they have lots of islands. Okay, so basically, we can't run the fiber optic everywhere. So basically, for this kind of uh, country, like for example, Indonesia, especially at the rural area, they actually rely very heavily on satellite communication in order to have the connectivity to the rest of the world. Okay, so this is what it means here. It's a solution. Therefore, need to use this satellite communication. Basically, satellites are very high amplitude relay station that can assess virtually any place on Earth. Okay, so basically, this is a very quick definition why we need to have satellite communication. As I have highlighted, overlaying wireless communication in order to have the line of sight is always, always very difficult or challenge. And therefore, the solution is to have satellite communication. Let's come to the satellite service. Okay. There are actually one, two, three, four, five. So over here, I have illustrated five different satellite service. Okay. As I have illustrated, the key thing that we want to do for satellite communication is to have any form of communication coverage. Okay. Basically, this is essential okay, for a rural area. Basically, you know that in a remote rural area, Okay, it's almost very challenging to set up a base station to have a point-to-point -point communication, for example, okay, because they are not going to serve a lot of users and it becomes very expensive. Let's say we set up so-called a point-to-point -point communication. Okay, so and then by laying the cables, it's not practical or they become very expensive. As I mentioned, there are probably not many users, and if we lay the cable, it becomes very expensive and it's not practical to search, let's say, just a few handful of users. Okay, so the first key thing that we want to have satellite service is to ensure that we have communication coverage to all parts of the earth. Next will be a live TV broadcast. Okay, for example, from time to time, every four years, we have World Cup, we also have European Cup. Okay, so this satellite service actually provides a source to link all the TV broadcasts from the organized country to the all the rest of the earth. Okay, so basically this is also one of the use of satellite service. Okay, next, the weather satellite actually also used to predict weather. Okay, so this is another use case for satellite service. They can also have a mean okay, to predict the weather. Okay, I think GPS nowadays, we don't really need to so-called uh, discuss further. Okay, this is widely used. Okay, nowadays, almost every car have this GPS service. Basically, when we want to try, so-called, uh, when we actually want to transport from one place to another place, we actually most of the time nowadays rely on this GPS. Basically, they will give us the coordination and they will bring us from one place to another place. And then last but not least, satellite service also can have a spy satellite. Okay, you probably uh, heard, I heard, maybe I should say that, okay, the resolution for the spy satellite can be like a 50 cent on the coin on the floor. Okay, so basically the satellite can pick up the high resolution, for example, a 50 cent that is actually on the floor. I'm not sure how true it is, okay, but I'm told that this is basically the current technology of a satellite uh, resolution, basically a 50 cent coin on the floor. Satellite communication has two main components. Okay, the first one will be the ground segment. Okay, so these are the ground segment. So this will be one of the main component of satellite communication. Another component will be the space segment. Okay, so this part here will be the space segment. Okay, the ground segment, okay, they can be either fixed or mobile. Okay, basically they can be the transmitter or receiver. As for the space segment, basically they consist of the satellite itself. Let's do a very quick definition. What is uplink and what is downlink? Okay, for example, okay, when the Earth station transmit a signal to the satellite up in the sky, we call this a uplink. Okay, when the Earth station transmit a signal all the way to the space to the satellite, we call this a uplink. And when the satellite send a message all the way down to the Earth, okay, which is the satellite Earth station here, we call this a downlink. Okay, I hope it's clear. So when we actually transmit from the Earth to the space, you can imagine, we call this a uplink. And when the space send a signal all the way down to the Earth, we call this a downlink. 
So I hope you have a better understanding what is uplink and what is downlink. A typical satellite link involves the transmission uplink of a signal from an earth station to a satellite. Okay, for example, this satellite earth station want to send a message to the space segment, okay, which is the satellite. They basically send an uplink message all the way to the space segment, which is the satellite. The satellite then receive and amplified the signal. Okay, so basically the satellite basically receive all the signal that is sent by this satellite earth station. Okay, imagine this is the place where the World Cup, the organizing of the World Cup, okay, the video actually sent all the way to the satellite. Okay, the satellite basically receive all this message. They amplify the signal and they basically retransmit it back to the earth. Okay, so the the video from the earth basically sent all the way to the space segment, okay, which is the satellite. They amplify the signal and they basically retransmit it back to the earth, to all parts of the world, so that we will be able to see the World Cup. Basically, this is what it means. So basically, when the satellite earth station receive the signal, again, they will re-amplify and basically they will send all the video to all the home so that we can have a cozy area to see the World Cup. Satellite receiver on the ground, okay, basically they can include direct home to home. Okay, imagine that they don't really need to have this satellite earth station here. Okay, we can also have a home to home. Okay, basically imagine that this is one home, this will be another home. They can be home to home. Okay, they can be a mobile reception equipment in aircraft, okay, satellite telephone, or even handheld device. Based on the relationship between the path loss and frequency in the RF propagation model, okay, you know that when we actually transmit at a higher frequency, we are going to have a higher path loss. Okay, which means that the higher the frequency, we can anticipate that the loss will be higher. And because of this, and in order to overcome this higher path loss, okay, we need to transmit a higher power so that the outcome will be more desired. Okay, for example, here, okay, when we actually want to send a signal to the space, okay, in order to be sure that the space segment, which is the satellite, able to receive the signal, we can actually increase the transmission power. When we actually increase the transmission power, okay, the chances for this space segment to receive will be higher. Okay, so this is one of the key things. And because when we actually have a higher frequency, they will be actually having a higher path loss. And therefore, okay, because of this issue, okay, the transmitting end that has a power limitation okay, will be transmitting at a lower frequency. So what does this mean? Okay, for example, up in the up here, okay, we don't have any issue to provide the power. However, when it's in a space segment, okay, we ha may have issue Okay, regards on the power because the satellite is basically powered up by the solar panel and there will be a limitation of the power. And because of this, typically, okay, the path that's sent by the satellite, they will typically has a lower frequency because lower frequency actually will have a higher chance to transmit over because lower frequency has lower path loss and higher frequency has a higher path loss. And therefore, for the transmitter that don't have any limitation on power, we actually want to put it at a higher frequency. As for the transmitter up in the space where there is constraint on power, because up in the space, the power mainly are provided by the solar panel. Hence, we prefer it to use a lower frequency. Okay, when we actually use a lower frequency, the path loss will be lower. So therefore, the transmission by the space segment can be further reduced. Okay, so I hope this is clear. Okay, there are actually three types of satellite. Okay, so basically, the one that is closer to the Earth will be the low Earth orbit. Okay, so basically, this will be closer to the Earth. Next will be the medial Earth orbit. And last but not least will be the geo. Geo is the furthest away from the Earth. With this, I'd like to end my discussion. Please stop to like and subscribe. Once again, thank you so much for your strong support. 
I hope to see you guys soon. Bye for now. Thank you so much.